Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the Stars Tarot. So this message is going to be a full moon message. And since this is a full moon message, you may notice that we have some missing crystals from our setup. Crystals will be back, I promise. They will return. They are currently getting some recharging, relaxing, and they will be back rejuvenated and ready to go. So we're going to have some spirit animals with us today, and they're going to accompany us on today's message. All right. So I had already mentioned that today is going to be about the full moon. When I was picking out which decks of cards I wanted to use, I noticed one of the cards um, that I had picked up remained where I left it. So it stood out. I thought I'd leave it out for you guys. It is number 14, Honor the Cycles, which just seemed very in tune for this message. 14 breaking down to the 5 as well. So we have that new beginning, that stability, that protection, that groundwork, and then bringing those two energies together into that five. So some things are going to change. All right, so let's talk about this new moon. This new moon <laughs> is has been wild. I don't know if you have felt um, the, like I know most new moons, people kind of act a little crazy, emotions run high, you know, people kind of get that wild hair in them. But this one, I don't know if you noticed, but maybe like emotions... It wasn't even so much that the emotions ran high. It was more so like the things that cause us emotional disturbance came to the surface of our consciousness. So you may have during, well, when you are watching this yesterday, you may have experienced or leading up to because the energy has taken up a little more than just the day of. But you may have noticed um, some reminiscing some blasts from the past, some flashbacks. You may have um, had some deep conversations with your significant other about things that um, may be bothering you or upsetting you. It's things that you know, but maybe they had come back up. The reason for that being is right now, the moon is full in Libra. This is also a lunar eclipse so it's a big whammy. We're getting double. The fun part of this is, while we have the feminine aspect of the collective energy in this Libra energy, and that's why the things that have caused emotional disturbances are being brought to the surface. Because if there is anything that is in balance, it is time to bring it into balance. Especially if we are to properly handle the masculine energy in the collective, which is in Aries. So, if anyone is unable to get their shit together and be in balance, you might see them acting a little um, rash or just just leave them alone. Keep some space for them. They're, they're going through it right now because the, the feminine side's whooping their ass because there's a bunch of shit that they need to clear out and check out. And because of that Aries energy that doesn't have the balance scales in the, on the feminine is running wild and hot-headed, right? But if we can bring our, our emotions, our feminine side into a balance, then that masculine and Aries will be very um, powerful, right? It'll be very focused. It's going to get shit done. So that being said, I feel like there's a bit of a cleansing of the the scales we got to kind of cleanse the air cleanse the vessel cleanse the heart space specifically i feel like this has a lot to do with mind and heart it, it's interesting because it's not just raw emotion it's emotion that's attached to a mental um perception right so the uh the emotional response is due to uh, a perception about something in your mind Hence, the moon being in the air sign of Libra. All right. So, the good thing about this is, 
is while we are going through the mix of the emotions where maybe some things are coming up to the surface, maybe we have to revisit some old wounds, maybe some flashbacks, memories, the usual stuff that we're used to, um, things are actually going to start to come into a balance harmoniously with our relationships. And this is going to help a lot. If we bring the mind and heart space into balance, that Aries father energy right now is really going to put a spark into things. So if things are in balance and in harmony, things are going to have a nice flow and a good forward momentum. So if you, um, if relationships with like your kids, families, friends, maybe there's been a little bit of an imbalance somehow, somewhere, if you are able to bring that into balance by the end of this little full moon cycle, things are going to improve on that. So that is going to help you. On the other aspect, I don't know if you felt leading up to the full moon. Leading up to the full moon was crazy, y'all. I don't know if y'all felt that, but like the energy was just going wild. The karmic energy was going crazy. People were losing their damn minds. And it was because we were building up to shit needed to be leveled out. There was far too much that was out of whack, out of balance, and needed to be brought to the surface. So as we were approaching this judgment day almost of this Libra energy and our divine mother of the moon... Yeah, people were freaking out because some people don't want to make the change necessary to bring the scales into balance. So, if you are dealing with any karmic situations, this is going to cause a big leap. This is going to cause a leap in um, karmic situations, in legal situations. If you are waiting on, if you are watching any of the other transmissions I put up about where I'm following along of court cases and karmic situations... Just know if you bring yourself into balance and they don't, they won't make the cut and shit's going to happen to make shit happen because we have that father energy in Aries. So just know if something's not in balance, Big Daddy Aries' son going to come in and wipe that shit out. We're going to clean some clocks because I'm tired of hearing Libra over here telling me about so-and-so and yada yada. Uh-uh, we clocking heads. That's, look. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to be a really good thing for the people that bring themselves into balance that are in tune. If you are in tune, this is going to be blissful. This is going to be more um, balanced. Your heart and mind are going to be in sync. Oh my gosh. When you have heart and brain coherence, everything flows. Oh, it's amazing how everything just flows. Serendipitous, like good karma, the energy, like life just goes well. So if you can do that, you have that to look forward to. Keep an eye out on karmic energies. They might get wild. Things might get crazy. If people don't bring shit into balance, again, there's going to be some affirmative warlike energy cracking down on some heads to bring shit into order. So keep that in mind that things are definitely going to um, take a very powerful shift for all of us. As well, I had mentioned this being a lunar eclipse. So this is interesting because what happens here is going to start a new six-month cycle. So, did you bring yourself into balance? Did you learn the lessons? Did you surrender what needed to surrender? Is your vessel clear? Are your heart and mind in sync? Are they balanced? Are you in harmonious energy? I hope so. I really hope so. Because if so, oh, you're going to love your next six months of readings. Oh, you're going to love it. All the bullshit you've been waiting to get handled, it's going to get handled. Oh, you bet your ass. Aries, yeah, it's getting done. We ain't messing around. All right. Do you have any other messages for us? Because I, I feel like this is going to be a really good thing. I really do. I like how, um, because I mentioned like there's this buildup we felt of like this chaos of approaching Judgment Day. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, our 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 maiden mother moon in the sky is going to judge us. We're all out of whack. Everyone freak out because father's in wartime. He's going to really crack our heads open if we don't listen. Well... Now we're in the peak of it. And do you feel it? Do you feel how serene it is? It's still. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the full moon energy. Um, you guys will be watching this the morning after the peak of its effects. 
But once when it really hit peak, it was so calm. Oh, shit just made sense. It was still. It was really nice. I really appreciated, it, especially how chaotic it was building up to that moment. And boom, Libra, bounce shit out. There's that earth angel energy coming in. All right. We have 16. Come back to center. Honor the cycles. 14. I already broke down the numerology of the 14 right now in your energy. And now we have 16 adding to it. 14, 16. That's 16. Once again, we have this new beginning coming up. But now we have home. We have harmony. I was talking a lot about if you can bring yourself back to center, back to balance, back to harmony, your next six month cycle is going to be amazing. Those that don't make it, they're going to get cracked upside the head. It's just going to be how it is. It's fine. So this new beginning, this harmony, this balance, this home, those that one and that six breaks down to the seven. That brings you to that higher spiritual order, that divinity, the perfection right? You're in alignment. This will bring a lot of people into alignment. If things were out of whack before, as long as you did the inner work during this time, the outer world is going to line up. It's going to, it has to, it literally has to. The whole matrix is set up on an energy right now. It's pumping out a very specific program. And if you aren't with the fucking program, dog, it ain't going to look good for you. It's either right or it's right. Right? All right. Cool. Glad we got that. Like, I feel like I really just channeled some hard-headed Aries energy just now. Commit. 22. That's that, that balance within ourselves. So we bring these two complete beginnings, right? That four and the six. So that four as well, breaking into the six again. Completion of cycle, stability, hard work, protection, the the harmony, the balance, the, the peace, the home, relationships, love. This is going to bring everything full circle. Full circle. If things needed to be better, and it's lining up for it to be better, it's going to be so much better. If things have been a little tight in some of your relationships, and it's not because you guys are karmic, it's not because you're biting each other's head. Well, maybe you have been biting each other's head off a little bit. I don't know. But it's not because you guys aren't good for each other. Like maybe there's just been a little bit, uh, you know, imbalance between you two. That's going to level out. It really will. Or it's going to get worse. It really, it's only going to go one way. It's going to get a lot worse or it's going to get extremely better. It really just depends on our inner worlds, right? Doesn't it always? All right. Wow. Wow. 22, commit. That's interesting. It's almost like, um, shoot, and now I feel really hot. I suddenly feel really, really warm. I'm actually feeling like Kali Ma or Hades. Like, I'm feeling underworld energy on me right now. We have 44, master the dance. Yeah. You would have to master the dance if you were to stand in the mix of hell and heaven at the same time, right? Some people believe they are the same place, and it's only a state of being. Food for thought. Seven. Again, celebrate growth and breakthroughs. Double confirmation on the seven. So a lot of you guys are going to bring in yourself full circle. Things are going to come into harmony, into balance, into spiritual order. Everything is going to come into alignment. If you made yourself into alignment, everything around you is going to be brought into alignment. Just straight, like it really, it has to fall in line. Like I can't express that enough. If anything in your outer world does not match your inner world by the end of this full moon and we start this next six month cycle, oh, it's going to be bad for anything that's standing in the way of these scales that need to be balanced. I, I wouldn't want to mess with the God of War, guys. Especially not when it's in sun energy. Okay? Okay. Glad we understand that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an astrologist by any means either. I'm very much just learning all of this. But I do know what my intuition tells me. 
that and my kids in Aries. Triple Aries at that, so R.I.P. All right, any other messages for the collective? Totality, five, again, change, completion. Things are really going to come back into center, into alignment. It's been a wild ride leading up to this far. We've had some highs. We've had some lows. Shoo, and we're only, what, three months in? Goodness. Oh, my gosh. And we have source. And we are the world. Oh, wow. Oh, this is bigger than just us. I mean, obviously. But I'm surprised to see that energy pop into this reading. awareness oh shit so like on a global level things might get wild y'all things might really get wild <laughs> hide your kids hide your wife <laughs> the matrix is going crazy <laughs> aries is cracking heads on anything that's not in alignment that's not in order <sighs> all right guys I am going to leave this here. This was just a, a short, quick, fun read. I do hope that this was something uh, beneficial to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. You guys are amazing. I love you all. And I will see you on the next collective message.